Hey guys, welcome to Material UI Basics course. Now, what is Material UI? Material UI is a React UI framework. But what is a UI framework? It is kind of like Bootstrap or other CSS framework. They provide us some classes and we add them to our HTML tags. Then the styles get applied and just like that, UI framework provides us some components, some tools that are already styled. Now, why would you want to use an UI framework? Writing everything from scratch can be too much work. With framework, all you need to do is just add the components to your application and modify them based on your need. Second thing could be you suck at design. Maybe you are kinda like backend developer or maybe you just not good at designing. So you don't need to feel bad about it. The frameworks that are available outside are already designed by the professionals and they are well tested. So you don't need to worry about that. You need to make a website quickly or maybe there are some other reasons you might have. Alright, there are a lot of UI framework available for React, but why would you want to use Material UI? Material UI is based on the design concept Material Design. It is developed by Google, so they are designed by the professionals and they are well tested. Material UI is full of components and features. If I just show it to you, all of the components that are available. So if I go to components. There is a ton of components. It has everything you need to make a simple or complex website. If you want to learn more about why you should use Material UI, I have wrote a blog about it on my website. I will put the link on the description in case if you are interested. So what are you going to learn in this course? This will be a five part video series. First, I will go over typography component, which will handle the text part of your application. Then I will go over Material UI theme, then CSS in JS with Material UI. Now CSS in JS is just writing your CSS styles with JavaScript but with much more flexibility and features. Then Material UI breakpoints and media queries and you are going to see how much it is easy to make a responsive website with this framework. And lastly, this is my favorite feature of Material UI which is the grid system. All right, enough talking. I'm super excited for this course. Let's set up our environment. Now for this course, I'm going to use Next.js. If you want to use Create React app, then no problem. It doesn't really matter here. So open up a terminal and go to your location where you want to create a project. And then just type yarn create next app then hit enter okay now give your project a name i'm going to call it material dash ui dash basics dash yt and it will install react react dom and next for us all right now we have our next.js application so cd into the project And to start the server, just type yarn dev and click on this link. It will open up a browser tab. All right, our Next.js application is working. So let's install the Material UI package. I'm going to kill the server. To install them, just type yarn add, then Material UI slash core. It will install the framework and material ui provides us a lot of icons if you want to use them you can also type material ui slash icons i want to use them both so i will install them the packages has been installed so let's clean the index file and give you a quick demo of material ui so i will open the project on my text editor So just go to pages, then index.js and I will clean everything from this file. Also the imports. 
So now let's import a typography component from Material UI. So import um, typography from Material UI slash core slash typography. And insert that component here, typography. And you can put here whatever you want. It is basically uh, handles every text-based content of your application. So I'm going to put hello world from Kills coding. And now if I save the file and start the server again, And I will just refresh this page. All right, this is our hello world text. This text has been styled by material UI. If I inspect this, and you can see that some class names have been applied to this component, they, and these are from material UI. Now, if I want to change the color of this text, so, so go to the typography, and pass a prop color and give the value primary and save. Now the color should be changed. So as you can see that the color has been changed, this color has been applied to the text. So our application is working fine with material UI. So in the next video, I will go over the typography component so hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that my friend you don't miss any of the future videos of this course. Until then, stay safe. Goodbye.